Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello friends, I'm so excited. Today is the day I am going to be doing my office slash studio makeover. This has been way overdue. Like my office is super, super, super disorganized at the moment and it has been giving me stress. So I bought some shelving, I bought a bunch of storage containers. We are gonna spruce up this entire office and make it into a really cute little studio space. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for the journey and let's see how this turns out. Also, if you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so I'm gonna film some before footage of the studio before we start making it over. Here in this little corner we have kind of like my packaging station. In these cubbies I have like all of my packaging stuff, my thank you cards, my labels. I got my two printers, we got Tom Nook. Here are some of the shelvings I bought, so I'm gonna be putting that together. And it's just kind of like disorganized. I went ahead and bought this like mushroom lamp from TJ Maxx that I'm really excited about. So I think on this wall, I want my new wooden shelves to be. And I think I'm going to put this cube organizer in a different room just because there's not enough space for it. And then over here in this corner, we have like my desk my monitors for work, I have my Canva lamp, and yeah, I need to like find a place for my giant stuffing, and this is just like extra yarn. So we're gonna clean up this little spot. And then over here we have some carts with other random crafting supplies. I have started a lot of different hobbies in the past few years. So all of the supplies for my other hobbies are stored in this cart. So like we literally have some like jewelry making stuff, we have clay stuff. We have some felt. It is kind of a hot mess here, so I need to clean these up. I think I want to put these carts under my desk or like maybe here where the trash can is just because this wall I feel like is going to waste and then we just have some more packaging stuff that I need to get organized. Yeah, so this room is not a square by any means, so it just means being really creative when putting things against the wall and just orienting the room the most efficient way. And then of course down here we got Callie. Hey girl, hey baby. And then lastly we have this wall which has all of my yarn and my lovely husband made this special yarn cube for me so i think i want to go ahead and start reorganizing all the yarn over the past year or so all of the yarn in the cubbies are just so disorganized i want to group it by like color by type of yarn etc so we're gonna go ahead and do a deep clean of the yarn cube as well and then here's like a sneak peek of some of the crates that i bought for storage right now there's just a bunch of work in progresses but yeah let's jump into this video okay i'm trying to set up the best camera angle i actually really like this angle so let's start making the new shelving and putting it all together I am not the best at putting things together, so we'll see how it goes. We got a lot of instructions, so this might take me some time, guys. Almost there. Oh, 
Okay, so all the shelving is in. Now I just need to flip it over, put the siding on, and then this should be done. It honestly wasn't bad assembling at all. And this is kind of a knockoff from the Ikea shelves. I see a lot of artists have the Ikea shelving, but there is sadly no Ikea near me and Ikea shipping is really expensive. So I found these kind of like knockoff Ikea shelves on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And yeah, we'll see how sturdy they are. You do have the option to like wall mount them. So that's like a nice little bonus that they have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wall mount them. We'll see how sturdy they are. But yeah, so far it looks really good. This will be so much easier to screw on now that I can just put it directly facing up like this. It was a struggle getting the other ones on. She's done! Oh my gosh. Let me put it up. Guys, look at her. This is pretty cool. I feel like so organized and cute now. It seems like pretty sturdy too. I'm gonna tighten up a few more of the screws. I'm gonna make the second shelf now and then I'll clear out this little space and we can get to reorganizing. Okay guys, I just got done assembling the second one. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And then you see the second one out there. So I'm gonna clear out this space and then we can put it against the wall and see. Okay, sorry the lighting is all messed up. I'm trying to like figure out the best lighting. So hopefully editing Jenna can fix that. But look, oh my gosh, I love it so far. It literally looks so much better. Um, it looks very artsy. So now all I have to do is organize the mess that is on the floor and fill the shelves. I'm really happy with the shelves, like 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll link down below where I got them on Amazon, but yeah. They're really, really cool. I'm excited to see it all organized. We're gonna take a short break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're first starting out or you're trying to grow your brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful websites, engage your audience, and sell any products online all in one place. Squarespace offers thousands of amazing professional templates, so you can easily just create your website in a matter of minutes. No code is necessary, which is really important to me because I cannot code for my life. And their website builder is a drag and drop system, so it's really easy for you to rearrange how your site looks. Another important aspect that they have is the ability to have an online store. 
this is probably the most important feature that I will be utilizing. I sell a variety of physical and digital products, so Squarespace allows you to have both of those on your online shop. And the last great thing about Squarespace is that you can actually go ahead and sell your products in person. So this is really important to me as I go to markets and sell my plushies in person there. I can get a square reader and that will allow me to sync my online shop with my physical plushies being sold in person. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and now back to the crochet content. This is what I have so far. The baskets I bought, like the plastic baskets, they fit really nicely on the shelves. And then this like wire basket also fits really nice. I have another one of them. So maybe I'll put it for more, you know, organization. But I, now I have to figure out what yarn I want to put on here versus in my yarn cube. And then kind of find a place for everything else. It's probably going to be a slow process. But so far, I'm loving it. I have like... The printers right on the bottom shelf and then all of my packing stuff because I want it like pretty easily accessible down there so that's good and then up here will be all of the yarn and stuff and then my husband put the shelves together so like originally they weren't together like screwed together but now he put them together so it's more stable and everything and it looks really good I think I'm gonna decorate it with these flowers I made and look I already put the daisy up there Okay, so this is what I have so far. We have a bunch of my sunflower skeins there because I'll be working on sunflower turtles. And then I have um, a bunch of other skeins that I use frequently, some organizers, my packing boxes. And yeah, that's how it looks so far. I love the organization. I think I'm still making tweaks to it. I now need to clean out my little cards and then find a place for the cube organizer and reorganize that. But yeah, it looks really good. Okay, I think this is all organized the best that I can do right now. I did like all my Bernat velvets, all of the Bernat baby blanket. I did Premier Parfait here and then all of my acrylic. And then I have a bunch of yarn on the floor. I really don't use this yarn, so I'm gonna put this in storage. So a little update, my husband put up my monitors because I had these monitor wall mount arms for like the longest time and we never installed them because we didn't know where they were at first and then finally we found them. So he installed them and look, it's so cool. It totally like changes the whole vibe of my desk and let me 
open up the laptop. So then, yeah, when I'm working, everything is nice and centered and off the desk. So now I have so much more desk space, which will be really helpful when I am crocheting and I need a lot more space on my desk. So that is the little upgrade for now. I also went ahead and put my two carts right here for now, like in that little empty space. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that. We'll see. And then here is the shelving. Not much has changed there in the past like hour or so. And then my yarn cube is looking a lot more organized. I added like my little plant up there, but I think now I'm gonna put the six cube organizer in this space because it is currently empty, but we'll see, we'll see how it looks. I'm still open to like moving some stuff around, but yeah. Okay guys, it's still a work in progress, but I just want to show you what I have so far. I love this little corner of the office. We reorganized my little cube organizer here. So this has all of my other like arts and crafts stuff besides crochet. So we have like all my jewelry making, all my polymer clay stuff and like etc. That's actually some like knitting needles and stuff. And then up here we have it super simple. We have the nice little plant, the wavy mirror, and my mushroom lamp. And then I have some art up here, but this is still a work in progress. Definitely need to get some more prints, but these are just from my favorite artists on YouTube. Then over here we have my updated little desk set up with the nice little monitors mounted to the wall. We got a nice clean, desk and it has so much space so i'm excited to actually sit down and work at my desk and then over here we have the little carts i still need to organize them but it definitely looks a lot better than what it was then we have shay and her little cat stand and then over here we have the main thing that we updated and I hate how there is like this orange yellow glow, but I will film the final stuff in another clip with better lighting. But yeah, I like decided to put all of the yellow and brown yarn here since I will be making a lot more sunflower turtles. So that's just there for easy access. And then at the top, we just have some plants, some Tom Nook, and I added the little crochet flowers onto the sides just for some fun little decor. But yeah, um, we have a bunch of crates here with more yarn that I use frequently, some organizing bins. Down here, we have my work in progress bin. So this is all of the stuff that I am working on currently and some books. And then we have all the packaging stuff down here on the bottom. We have my printers, all of my packaging labels, stickers, boxes, etc. And then lastly over here we have the organized yarn cube. I think I'm gonna bring some of the yarn from storage and put it out here so it looks a little more full, but yeah, I feel so much better about the office being way more organized and it just feels really cozy. I figured I'd give you guys a tour real quick of my storage closet. I finally organized all of my yarn into it and can we just take a second and look at literally all of this yarn? Oh my gosh. So down here, we have literally just Parfait Chunky in white, Parfait Chunky in hot pink, and Parfait Chunky in this light pink color. And these three bins are literally just all of those colors. I have a lot, so I definitely don't need to be ordering more of this color anytime soon. Then on this next shelf, I have a bunch of Retro Velvet in Seedling. This is what I use with my strawberry turtles, so I have a bunch of that there. Then these two bins are my Burnett Velvet um, collection, so I just have an assortment of the Burnett Velvet yarn all in here. Oop, I'm ripping the box. I didn't have much space to organize by color like I wanted to, but this is just my storage closet, so it's fine. So I just grouped it by brand. And then up here, I have just etc. yarn. This is like acrylic. I have some glow in the dark yarn. This is just like an etc. bin. Then I have this little bin of all Parfait Chunky in 
yellow. And then up here, I have more Parfait Chunky. This is just multicolor. So if I take this down, we have just like a bunch of different colors here. Just is just overflow. And then same for over here. This is just neutral. So like black, gray, brown, mushroom, etc. Then at the top, it gets a little more messy. This is kind of like my bigger yarn. So over here, we have some Bernat Blanket yarn that I really don't use that much. In this bin, I just have more like acrylic and wool yarn. And then we have all of my thicker yarn. So this is all of the Sweet Snuggle slash Chanel Home slash Parfait XL. And I just like try to group it by color, but really it's kind of just all thrown up there. But yeah, the thicker yarn is so hard to store personally because it just takes up so much space. So I'm glad I finally just threw it up in the shelves and everything is much more organized. But yeah, there we go. This is my yarn closet. All right, I think I'm gonna call the video here. I originally wanted to have this room makeover video go like from start to finish, but I realized like it's gonna take some time to collect more decor and like find cool pieces and really like fine tune this room. So I think I'm gonna call this video here. I definitely am super happy with the transformation. I love how everything turned out. I'm in love with the shelves, the monitor setup, my organized cube, and then like all of the plants. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. There will definitely be a part two in the future once I like accumulate more decor, but I don't want to like rush the process or anything. So hope you guys understand. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.